Hello there, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard and today we have a touch of Motown magic from the mid-60s. I'm talking of course about Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Now they need no introduction, but on two different occasions, ten years apart, Rolling Stone magazine voted the Miracles in the top 35 artists of all time. They were number 32, I think, on a list of 100. Both times, 10 years apart, so obviously significantly, majorly important pop music force and soul music force here, especially in the 1960s, but also very well into the 1970s. The Miracles had uh, Motown Records' first million-selling record with Shop Around back in 1960. But here we have the spring of 1966 in Oakland, and it's a poster with a standard Tillman um, Tillman Concert Poster Printing Company layout and design. It's got an interesting, um, we sometimes call this split fountain effect, where the printing press ran from red color to blue, and then finally down toward black at the bottom. It's a very subtle fade between the lat latter two colors, but uh, that's what you have, sort of three different ink colors here, which, which definitely creates an interesting effect. Now, Tillman, as I said, was based in Oakland. They delivered posters from basically Southern California all the way up to the Pacific Northwest. But maybe they might have delivered this batch of posters in person because the show's in Oakland and the posters were printed in Oakland, so that's pretty cool. So um, here with the Miracles, obviously the magic guy is Smoke himself, Smokey Robinson. Um, obviously a huge dynamic force. By this time he was a vice president, by the way, at Motown. But missing from the picture and missing from the stage was original miracle Claudette Robinson, Smokey's wife, because a couple of years earlier, in 1964, she had retired from the stage. Under the miracle's name, by the way, I just gotta love those song titles. They picked really three just perfect song titles. What you have is their most recent hit, Going to a Go-Go. And that one is sandwiched by their two most recent top tens. You Really Got a Hold on Me, which of course the Beatles covered in 63, and Mickey's Monkey. So just a perfect selection of song titles there by Tillman with uh, you know their two previous top tens and their current big hit. And uh, it was indeed great timing for the Miracles because their most recent LP was called Going to a Go-Go. It was a studio album, even though that might sound a little bit live. And uh, basically, Going to a Go-Go was their most successful album ever. It produced four top 20 hits, including Ooh, Baby, Baby, and the legendary Tracks of My Tears. And all four of those top 20 pop hits went top 10 R&B hits. So, really good performing singles from the record. And this particular album, Going to a Go-Go, was the Miracles' only LP to enter Billboard's top 10 pop charts of the, you know, the top ten albums in the country, so no question about it, just a sweet, sweet, perfect time in the Miracles' career for this framed concert poster. Also on the bill there, you can see the ballads, and no surprise, they're from Oakland, California, <laughs> they were, and a couple of years later they had a top ten R&B hit, but only one chart entry, and that was about all we heard from them, and then you've got Eddie Foster there on the bill as well, and he's a sole vocalist who did not chart. <clears throat> so, um, and then Heck, why not credit them? Sure, look at that. Wally Cox and Terrible Tom. <laughs> and then you can see there it says, <clears throat> singing many great hits, but frankly I'm not sure if that refers to Eddie Foster or Terrible Tom. But uh, maybe somebody who was at the show would know. So, um, Anyway, a great show in the mid-60s in the Bay Area for soul music lovers and pop music lovers for that matter. And uh, you got to see all of this entertainment for just three dollars. And what's interesting is the show went till 2 a.m. It's very standard on these concert posters for them to go from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. That's what most of them say. Um, but this one went till 2 a.m., so it was a very late-running show. And, of course, it's standard for the year not to be on posters. But in this particular case, Tillman did put on the poster the year of 1966. So, really a sweet piece. Just a great, great mid-60s Motown, Motortown, uh, you know, concert poster, and I just love it. So, hope you enjoyed it, too. Thanks a lot for coming by today, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.